Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about simplifying radical expressions. So before we start simplifying radical expressions, we need to review the different parts of a radical expression. We have here a given expression in which pag binasa natin yan, that is read as the cube root, again the cube root of 8. So ano yung mga different parts na meron tayo sa radical expression natin ngayon? Dito sa ating cube root of 8, yung smaller number sa labas ng si sa symbol na meron tayo is yung tinatawag nating index. And then itong symbol natin ito is called your radical sign. At yung expression inside the radical sign is none other than the radicand. So I hope na you can still remember the different parts of radical expression. And if bago ka lang sa channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe. At ihit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. Now, before we ever start studying and simplifying radical expressions, kailangan makita muna natin yung essential laws na meron tayo para maging successful yung pag-simplify natin ng radicals. So the first law that we have here is that this one, we have the nth root of a raised to n is equal to a. So pinakamadaling explanation dito, guys, is that kung makikita nyo na ang index, if the index is the same as the exponent outside the expression, automatic, your answer is a. Or simply, makakancel na lang yung radical sign. So yun yung literal makikita nyo kung paano natin gawin yan. So let's have item number 2. Ito yung frequent natin gagamitin. We have the nth root of a, b. So kung mapansin nyo, di ba, we have here a single radical. And then that is equal to the nth root of a times the nth root of b. Ito yung para sa akin, usual na ginagamit in simplifying radical expressions. Next, number 3. We have the nth root of a, b. That is equal to the nth root of a over the nth root of b. For in yung first expression natin is a single fraction and a single radical wherein that is equal to the nth root of a over the nth root of b. Next, number 4, we have the mth root of nth root of a is equal to m and nth root of a. So medyo komplikado tong law na to. I hope na magamit natin siya later. Now let's have the examples in simplifying radicals. So, before nga pala natin gamitin yung different laws na meron tayo, one of the things, or one of the basic things na kailangan alam nyo when you're dealing with radicals is that you know that um, the first 10 perfect square numbers and first 10 perfect cube numbers. Yung first 10 perfect square numbers natin is R1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100. And for the first 10 cube root, cube, for perfect cube numbers, we have 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, 216, 343, 512, 729, and 100. Later on, makita nyo kung bakit. So we have here number 1. Simplify the following radical expressions, which is in number 1 natin, is the square root of 25. Now, when you will be asked, what is the square root of 25? Basically, dapat alam mo na to. Kasi uh, this number, or your radicand, 25, is a perfect square number. So, if you will be asked, what is the square root of 25? Your answer should be 5. Yung reason ng mga batang nakakausap ko, because 5 times 5 is 25. Then yun yung reason nila. Next, number 2. We have... The square root of 63. As you can see, 63 is not listed here sa ating first 10 perfect square number. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya perfect square. So, ang tanong dito, sir, paano natin isimplify ang isang radical expression if the number is not a perfect square? Kagawa tayo ng paraan. Ang gagawin mo lang dito, if the number itself is not a perfect square, you need to factor out 63. Or that number, we're in. We're in. One of the factors is a perfect square. So for me, the factors of 63 
na kung saan yung isa perfect square is the square root of 9 times 7. So, ito na. We're applying actually law number 2. We're in, since pinactor out natin siya as 9, square root of 9 times square root of 7, that will be equal to the square root of 9 times the square root of 7. And as you can see, we have a single radical wherein the square root of 9 is equivalent to equivalent to 3. At yung ating square root of 7, wala na siyang factors. Wala na siyang factor na perfect square aside from 1. So as is na siya as the square root of 7. So the answer here is 3 times the square root of 7. So babalikan ko lang ng konti yung example number 1. Sir, bakit siya naging 5? So actually, we can apply law number 1 para ma-extract natin to. Remember, yung square root of, yung 25 natin can be expressed as 5 squared. So the square root of 5 squared. Di ba ang law natin, if your index and the exponent are equal, automatic, ito na yung sagot natin. So alam natin mayroon tayong index dito na 2. So actually, the answer is 5. That's it. Next, let's have number 3. The cube root of 81. So as you can see, 81 is not here. Sa ating perfect cube, dito ito tingin. Wala tayong 81. Pero meron siyang factor na perfect, perfect cube. You will be using 27. What are the factors of 81? So we can factor out 81 as the cube root of 27 times 3. We're in... Yung ating factors can be written as the cube root of 27 times the cube root of 3. So, pwede nyo simplify yan. You can have 3 times the cube root of 3. This is the answer for item number 3. So, saan po nanggaling tong 3 na to? Nanggaling siya sa cube root ng 27. So, Kung mapansin nyo yung first three examples natin are solely numbers lang. So, let's move on with item number four. For item number four, we have the number and the variables. So, paano natin gagawin yan? To simplify this kind of expression or this kind of radical expression, hindi naman siya ganun kahihirap. Una, mag-deal muna tayo sa number. Your number is 18. 18 is not a perfect square. So, ang gagawin mo dyan, you need to factor out 18. So, isipin mo dyan. Oh, masyadong haba. The factors are 8 of 18 are 9 times 2. Diba? 9 is perfect square. Now, sir, how about x cubed? x cubed is not a perfect square variable. So, pero you can factor out that. Pwede mo siyang i-factor out bilang x squared times x. Tama? And then, Yung y raised to the fourth power natin, as is na siya kasi perfect square variable naman siya. So, yan. So, hindi na natin kailang isulat pa siya ng hiwa-hiwalay na radical. Bagkus, ang gagawin natin dito is that we will do the square root of 9 is 3. Lagay mo sa labas. Yung may mga underline sila yung mga ilalabas natin. Ito namang x squared natin. The square root of x squared is x. At yung square root ng y to the fourth power natin, is y squared. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo, yung mga walang underline, sila yung may iwan sa loob ng radicals. So, you have the square root of 2x. This is the answer or the simplified form of item number 4. 3xy squared times the square root of 2x. That's it for item number 4. Now, let's move on with item number 5. As you can see, uh, it's quite similar with Item number 4, pero yung hinanap natin ay 5th uh, root. Okay? So, for item number 5, the 5th root of 32, x to the 7th power, y raised to 5, and z. So, dito, yung 32 natin is actually a perfect 5th root. So, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2, 8 times 2, 16. So, 4 times na, times 2, 32. 
So, as is na siya dyan, we have the square root of 32. And then, yung x raised to 7 natin, hindi, hindi siya perfect fifth. Hindi siya pwedeng extra kagad-agad. So, we can factor out x raised to 7 as x raised to 5 times x squared. And then, yung y raised to 5 natin, as is na yan, y raised to 5. And then, z. So, when you are asked, what is the fifth root of 32, the answer is 2. Okay? Yung fifth root naman ng x to the fifth power is simply x. Yung y naman natin is simply y. And then, yung natitira ay yung mga underline. The correct answer for item number 5 is 2xy times the fifth root of x squared z. At yung sagot natin for item number 5. Now, let's move on with item number 6. So number 6 naman, we have the square root of 12 over the square root of 3. So ako dito, meron tayong dalawang possible na way ng gagawin dito, pero eto ang gagawin ko dito. Um, I will be applying law number 2, wherein I will be factoring out square root of 12. So ang factors ng square root of 12 are the square root of 4 times the square root of 3 over the square root of 3. As you can see, parehas na meron tayong square root sa, of 3 sa numerator and denominator. Meaning, we can cancel out this one. Square root of 3 over square root of 3 is 1. And then, the remaining radical expression is square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is simply 2. This is the answer for item number 6. Now, for item number 7 naman, we have the square root of 50 over 121. So, dito kasi wala na tayong pwede ma-simplify dito. Pero, we can factor out the, the numerator and denominator para makapag-simplify tayo ng radical. So, for the numerator, or apply muna natin yung law natin, we have the square root of 50 over the square root of 121. Wherein, yung 50 natin is not a perfect square, pero yung ating 121 is a perfect square. So, alam natin na ang square root of ng 121 is 11, while 50 naman, you have the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. So, ang square root of 25 is actually 5, and then square root of 2 over 11. Ito na yung sagot natin for number 7. Okay? So, let's have the last one, wherein yung ating fractional na radical has the variables, pero kayang-kaya naman natin yung simplify. So applying the law, we can create a radical sa numerator, which is the square root of 4a raised to 5 over the square root of b raised to 6. Yung 4 natin is a perfect square, so you have square root of 4 times a raised to 4. Factor na natin yung a to raised to 5, fifth power natin. You have this, and then square root of b raised to 6. Yung square root ng 4 natin is 2. Labas natin. Yung square root ng a raised to the 4th power natin is a squared. At matitira na lang sa loob ay yung square root of a over yung square root ng b raised to 6 natin is b cubed. So, yan yung tagusagot natin for number 8. We have 2 a squared times a times a square root of a over b cube so i hope na sa ating tutorial within those six eight examples natutunan nyo kung paano mag simplify ng radicals using the laws of radicals again if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated sa ating mga future uploads again i'm teacher gone maraming maraming salamat bye, -bye. Hi guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page wherein ang pangalan nito ay Matt Teacher Gone and I will write down the link sa ating description box para mapuntahan niyo ating Facebook page. Again, maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!